Extrata Nickel employees were hit with news of 686 job cuts at Area Mines early Monday morning, and they are now trying to figure out where to go from here. I think the employees themselves are kind of shocked still. It's going to be a shock for, for everybody for a little while, I think, till it sinks in. It's unexpected. And, uh, and it's brutal. It's deep. The cuts are very deep. I mean, people with 12 years in are being laid off. Extrata officials say the company simply can't continue with business as usual given these tough economic times and say they're restructuring operations so they can essentially survive the turmoil. What we're having to do here is, is structure ourselves in, in a manner that will be able to survive the bottom of this economic cycle. Uh, the demand for our products has collapsed and nickel prices have uh, come down very quickly and, and uh, actually 80 percent, they've come down 80 percent from their highs as well as other, other metals. The union is speaking with its lawyers about the potentially illegal layoffs considering Extrata signed an agreement in July 2006 with Investments Canada, an agency that oversees all foreign takeovers of Canadian companies. Now, in the agreement, Extrata said there would not be any layoffs for three years. The union says these layoffs are unfair to employees and a breach of the contract. To try and help ease the burden, Extrata has established support programs for employees who lost their job. We're getting some uh, outside uh, uh, consultants to help us put together some uh, an outplacement uh, program. So we'll have an outplacement center for employees, uh, for all, all the employee groups to uh, help uh, them identify new opportunities. As well, we we're expanding our employee assistance program uh, to provide consultative services to, to people on a number of uh, fronts. While the three extrata mines in the city will be put on care maintenance programs, the company still has plans for Sudbury. The Nickel Rim South project is going to be our focus in, in, uh, in, in the immediate future, and we're going to have one mine in Sudbury, uh, Nickel Rim South, and that, that is being built right now, and it will be in production later this year. And we've, re we've retained approximately 350 employees and those people are going to work at that mine and they're going to be a part of building it and developing it and getting it going. So, uh, you know, that's already happening. Uh, in addition, we had a second mining project called Fraser Morgan, and that's a smaller mine and it's uh, not as robust financially, but uh, it's not viable in this, in this climate. So we've, we've had to defer that project. A business strategy professor with Laurentian University says the economic impact from the nearly 700 layoffs will be relatively minor on the rest of the community, but that the city needs to start looking at new ways to diversify its economy. I think the main thing now is to look into uh, other possibilities, uh, particularly uh, in the energy sector. As you know, the two largest uh, clients of, uh, of the energy producers in Ontario are Extrata and Vale Inco. We are the two largest uh, consumers of uh, power. Um, so any power alternative, any productions of power that could be alternative to the current system that we have uh, would be beneficial to, to the economy. And uh, I know there were some projects uh, with the wind, for example, uh, wind energy, um, other forms of uh, energy production also uh, could be ways of diversifying our economy and uh, getting into the green energy uh, kind of uh, of economy and that's certainly one of the new ways where uh, Sudbury can be successful and innovative. However, residents think these layoffs will certainly have a negative impact on the city's economy. Like a store probably going to close again and uh, people will go out of town to get some job. Growing up in Sudbury, working here um, in the mining industry, um, you know, Sudbury is pretty much driven by its, its um, it's economic ties with mining and unfortunately it's going to suffer the same fault when, uh, when there's a lot more people laid off. I mean, uh, it's tough right now for everyone. There's no jobs out there and Sudbury is definitely going to feel this, uh, this economic recession for sure. And so you were laid off on uh, early December from FNX and uh, how have you been coping since then? Uh, I've been finding it very difficult. There's no work uh, province-wide, I should say worldwide. Um, there's also, uh, you know, just no, no jobs that will really cover the bills that you have. Uh, it's tough. It's just a tough time right now for everyone, including myself. Mandy Hargrave, NorthernLife.ca.